let me tell you. There are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. There comes a time when the blackness of future is so extreme. It is such a black wall of nothingness, not even of bad things. It's not like there's a cave full of monsters that you are afraid of entering in the future. It's horrible to contemplate a futureless future if that is not too impossible. And so you just want to set up a fit to set up the whole race, the whole business. The monstrosity of being alive overwhelms you. I thought, what kind of purpose do I have to live? I mean, are you just here to live to die? I mean, is there not a purpose for me? Is there not a purpose in life? And I had questions and no answers. I asked my mom and dad, why did this happen? There are some things in life that are of your control that you can change and you got to live with. The choice that we have told is either to give up or keep on going. So, in the winter time, it is cold, right? It is freezing fucking cold in the winter time, especially if you live in like the north and it can be so cold that are you miserable. If man was so cold and miserable that he decided that perhaps I should kill myself because this freezing cold misery is not worth living in, someone might offer him the idea that will remind him of the love that good like you got maybe another six, eight weeks and then the spring is coming man, it is just the way it is. Sing cycle throw is just a season, right now I understand it's freezing fucking cold and you feel horrible and you feel pretty bad about the situation but hang in there. 70% of the illnesses on the planet of all kinds are self created. You are able to generate a substantial amount of intense emotion at times, but in the wrong direction. You are generating toes and emotion which work against you, not for you. You think it is your right to throw tantrums. You think it is your right to get angry with people. You think it is your privilege to be depressed so that you will get attention from somebody. You keep playing this, one day you will not be able to turn back. Happiness is a choice. That is what I want to live my life by. You can always be happy. Listen, I know I am not crazy. I release the earnings in not being happy. Sometimes you have to put up with some crap in your life. But if you're always striving to choose happiness, every day you wake up and you say to yourself, you know what? I am going to choose to not let the outside influence of the world affect my mood. I am going to be in charge of how I feel because I am going to choose happiness. I promise you will live a much happier life and release you can try to, right? I feel depressed, I feel miserable, I feel at times where it might be better to take my life. But with the wisdom that I have gathered in my 70 years of life, I become to realize that it is just a feeling. And in the same way that feeling cold is diminished, my design the spring will come. It's the same feeling that you should acknowledge, the same love that you should acknowledge, that no matter how miserable things are right now, it is just a season, it is going to pass. The thing that keeps one living is a sense of future, that there will be a tomorrow and tomorrow I've got to do this and the day after I've got to do that. Not that any of these things have a particular logical purpose or a convincing reason to exist, but they somehow keep one going. In the words of Dorothy Parkett, a great wit and writer and poet, you might as well live.